Come on, come on, come on. 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 Come back to my view tv the people's platform the home of undiluted news reviews updates and your daily dose of entertainment don't forget to hit the notification bell leave us a comment like share and subscribe i don't bring nobody forward in your future for me everything where you see up my natural talent let me tell you something you see when you know what to please the audience with it simple me Worry is a conversation you have with yourself about things you cannot change. Prayer is a conversation you have with God about things He can change. May God answer all your prayers and bless you with peace, love, and happiness. Walk well, one with people, open body now, okay? Open body now, right? Yet another Friday morning, I'm find myself alive and well. Yes, people, me make sure I go watch some football, you understand? But me tell you this. Every day above ground is a blessing. How oh, awesome it is to be amongst the living and surely not amongst the dead. Hold on a bit. We have a word for somebody this morning. In the end, people always have a way of revealing who they are. You just have to give them time and space to do so. No mask can be worn forever. I always remember that in my people. But anyway, now, one only person thing I go on the news. I said the cocos bag them full. But we'll learn a bit there now. I said the Brazilian fans are make one whole heap of nice. Kill them dead yesterday at the World Cup, them win. One little match, them win two love. And kill them dead at the World Cup, them win. Last time when you got a World Cup, you're not the first match on the plane, they win three love, don't it? Tell me if you're not winning. I'm going to get to the local business fix soon, man. Watch what I go on, power I go on. Member, member, good. Me talk it as it is and as it might be already. I'll get with you myself now in the comment section. Come, me not argue with you now. Anyway, now, people, I can just jump right in on the news. But the people, them know what I go on, power I go on. 60 year old man who allegedly shot the pan of his former spouse to death in this cause based in Hands on Friday has been charged with murder. Charge is Randolph Thomas from retirement district in the parish. The deceased has been identified as Roy Alexander. Report reached on news that about 6 p.m. on Friday, Alexander went to visit his girlfriend, who as a child for the accused. The police said Thomas had also gone to visit the child. An altercation developed between both. Yes, people. Altercation developed between the both of them. And guess what? Alexander was chopped several times with a machete. Yes, one cutlass. You understand? He was pronounced dead right past spot. Look at all this, brother. You know. People like them who send God Jesus. Because they're so who kick him up. You understand? Him not going to live rent free and scratch free in our head. No, 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 no. You understand? Worse, who not going to send my meds around for him? He might go dead soon and very soon. Anyway, let me tell you about Elephant now. That Elephant man. This one is so good, Mr. Elephant. The police has arrested and charged a 37 year old man with wounded with intent and assault occasionally bodily harm following an incident in Great George's Street in Westmoreland on Monday. Charge is Glenroy Gale, otherwise called Elephant, a fisherman of Hudson Street, Savlamar in the parish. Report reaching our news team that about 7 a.m., a man was purchasing items at a grocery shop when three men, Gale amongst them, reportedly accused the buyer of setting fire to a shop. The three men allegedly assaulted the man, inflicting several blows. Yes, people are only part. Thump, you understand? I'm licking get out of my stick and broomstick. I'm telling the truth. We say, paper, the man them beat up the man bad, 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 you know? And just walk away from the scene when them done. Because guess what? For them place. The man was assisted to the hospital where he was admitted in serious condition. On Wednesday, November 23rd, guess what, my people? The big idiot police them. Go right up a gear there. All I'm up there, you know? Just go arrest him. For that slap on the old dirty boy, you understand? Three screamings a day, no rent to pay. This a boy I got live rent free in a people head. You understand? Slap the police, they start slap them when and stop waste time carrying them behind bars, you know. So what I said that I mean, what I said that no, me already been not take him back. Hold on a bit then now. A British woman has been arrested and charged in connection with approximately $9.2 million worth of cocaine at the Sanctions International Airport in Montego Bay, St. James on Saturday. According to investigators assigned to the Narcotics Division, the woman has been identified as Ashanti Ferguson, a 20-year-old customer service agent of West Midlands in England. Report reaching on news team that about 7 p.m. Ferguson was boarding a departing flight to United Kingdom when her luggage was searched. During the search, Two kilograms of cocaine was found concealed in false compartment of her luggage. 
following an interview conducted in the presence of her attorney. On Monday, November 21st, Ferguson was charged with possession of cocaine, dealing cocaine, attempting to export, and conspiracy to export cocaine. She is scheduled to appear before the St. James Parish Court on Monday, November 28th. Like how I deal in court business, let me just left a quote here. I'm going to write up a St. Elizabeth or go to pay some news. Three Honduras national who entered Jamaica illegally after their boat was damaged during the inclement weather on Wednesday pled guilty before the St. Elizabeth Parish Court. The three men were each fined $5,000 or 20 days imprisonment on charge of illegal entry. The fines were paid but the Honduran will remain in custody until a deportation order is issued. But we'll learn a bit then. Might as well. Only they just stay in prison for 20 days, you understand? Because that's going to take you about 30 days to get that order. We are telling you the truth. So, take back on the $5,000. Anyway, people, you are going for you are going now. The number of people murdered in the country since the start of the year is nearly at 1,400. It passed right there so long time. And that's it passed right there so long, long time. No for who, who no thinks they're going to cross the border. Shallow grave settings for them, you understand? Shallow grave. Remember, remember, good enough. Every single day somebody in the Central Village, you know? So just check your ratio. We've gone over that 1,400 in a long time. According to the latest crime data released by the Jamaican Constabulary Force, 1,380 murders were recorded up to Wednesday. 64 more than the 1,316 recorded in the corresponding period last year. The St. James Police Division recorded the highest numbers of murder, 188, followed by Westmoreland, 131. There are also an increase in case of robberies and break-ins. Robberies went up by 128 from 687 to 815, while break-ins increased by 59 from 824 to 883. Meantime, there was a decline in reported case of rape. Yes, people, I want to know the passing thing I go on. So, you know, so once me there, me I go to the news. Ball to ball to ball, come in. Hold on a bit there now. Tap on and do a look at people. Right in the right hand corner. Look at this boy. Yeah? Yes, this boy the guinea pig. I him never give the first 15 years. And guess what? I want police. You understand? One little lot of constable. Some colleagues, they call him in the Ace Kingston with a Glock pistol with four rounds of ammunition. But hold on there now, people. Why they never slap on the old dirty boy? I slap them first and I put my in a car and they look on this boy's face. Them can't see wrong do what? So what I said I mean, what I said I know me already, I'm not taking back. Anyway, people, guess who in the news now? Kanjo. Security forces have intensified their search operations targeting guns and ammunition. But I want to be clear, they are also targeting the persons in possession. Before the strategy was, tell us where the illegal guns are. That's still the strategy. But now the strategy is we are searching to find not just the gun, we want to get you, the person with the gun. Madam Speaker, gun can't fire itself. A buried gun, is that a problem gun? The problem gun is the one that you have on your hip or in your hand that you are pointing. So, Madam Speaker, the security forces have intensified their search. Every morning I get a report. This morning I got a, a report of the number of searches conducted. If I, this morning they discovered they searched several premises and they discovered one nine millimeter weapon with several rounds of ammunition but for the past three days we have basically been since the end of the amnesty we have basically been doing one or so weapons uh, uh, discovered in addition to arresting persons who have been uh, caught in possession and we will be intensifying those operations I just want the country to be prepared that when people are saying the murder rate is high and government must do something, the records will show that the Andrew Holness led administration did something about it. Because the Andrew Holness led administration doesn't get any credit when we are doing things, you know. We get, we get, Cause for everything. 
but we have to be the ones to constantly place the good news in front of the people because that is our job and we are doing a phenomenal job given the monumental challenges that this country faces.